What is up guys, welcome to today's video. We are gonna be doing a, probably a pretty short video today. We do have some something to do on the WRX today, um, but it's very simple, it shouldn't take very long. Um, it's gonna be basically uh, a real quick installation. Um, but it should be fun, it should be uh, good. We got some more APR parts. So let's go ahead and head back into the shop and I'll show you guys what we're doing today. All right, let's go. All right guys, so we're back in the shop and we got an awesome package in yesterday um, from APR and I'll show you guys right now. Let me flip the camera. So this is the carbon fiber brake cooling kit from APR for the WRX. So these are carbon fiber uh, brake kits that goes right onto the front bumper. So we're gonna go ahead and be installing these today. This kit also comes with the uh, heat resistant hoses that you can put on for the brake cooling kit. And then also it comes with the rotor kit. So these actually go onto the rotors. Now, unfortunately, we are not gonna be putting these on today just because we have brand new rotors coming for this car and it makes no sense to put these on the old rotors and then have to pull them right off. So this is actually gonna stay in here and then once we get the new rotors in, we're gonna go ahead and put these on. But for now, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting the carbon fiber pieces that go on left and right side of the bumper today. Um, and the cool thing about these is this should be pretty quick. They just snap in and then you run two bolts, which we're gonna have to do some drilling to get these bolts into the bump into the bumper. And I'll show you guys uh, when we go mock it up uh, how they're gonna sit and how they're gonna look. But this is from APR. And then also we got some other cool stuff. So our accent color for the car is gonna be pink. Um, we've already got some pink stuff in and I'll show you guys also other things that I installed on the car that were pink. So let's go take a look at that right now. Okay, so some of the things that we installed on the car that are pink already. Um, I installed the pink SDI Fender logos. Uh, I did this the other day. It was super cool. I didn't video it just because I knew it was gonna take like five minutes, which it really did take five minutes. So we put these on. Um, we have the STI logo that goes on the front grill here. So we have that. We just need the backing pieces so it'll actually stay on the bumper. And then the other thing that we put on, and I'll show you guys, on the back, we went with the pink STI logo on the back of the car. Now, the reason that we're doing pink, obviously is the STI uh, pink uh, accents, but we also are going to wrap the car uh, and have some pink accents in the wrap. Um, other news about this car that is actually really cool and really exciting is this car is now officially sponsored by Mishimoto. Uh, we got fully, uh, full sponsorship for Mishimoto since we are running a bunch of products on their car. So we are on Team Mishi. So if you guys uh, need a link, I will put a link in the bottom. So if you guys wanna go to Mishimoto and order something and use our code, I think you get 10 or 20% off. Not sure which one. I've gotta double check that, but I'll t it will be in, the link will be in the bottom here of this video. So let's go ahead and first things first, we're gonna mock up these and see, I'm gonna mark on the bumper where we need to drill. And then once we get that done, we can go ahead and get them in. Like I said, super quick video, not gonna be super long, but at least we're gonna get the front bumper looking, she's looking good already, but now we're gonna add some more carbon fiber flare to it. So let's go ahead and grab those and we'll get them mocked up. Wow. Okay guys, so cool thing about these Subaru front bumpers is these pieces right here just snap in and out. So that's where we're actually gonna mock in the APR brake cooling kit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and mock these in to where they're supposed to be here. And then what we're gonna do is these two pieces right here, we actually have to bolt in so it sits flush into the bumper. So I'm gonna go ahead and mock both of these into the bumper and then we're gonna go ahead and Sharpie our drill points so we can get these bolts through the plastic pieces of the bumper. That way they actually sit flush into the hole. So we're gonna go ahead and do that on both sides and then go ahead and get these into the bumper and bolt it on. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have both sides marked. 
I'm gonna go ahead and grab the drill and just put a couple small holes in here. I'm not quite sure what size the bolts are, so we're gonna go ahead and match the drill bit up and see if we can just get these in. That way, with these, that way they sit flush and it actually yanks or pushes the carbon fiber piece back onto this area here. Um, these are actually really high quality, but they just don't fit very snug in there with the tabs. So I think that's why they put the two bolt options here. It's that way you can actually have them yank or suck back up into the bumper. I also think, think it keeps them uh, flush and also keeps them from coming out, obviously. Um, they put the tabs on the back here so like it would sit with the stock one because the stock one has the tabs. That's how they fit in. But I think they put the two bolts on here just to get them to stay safe and snug um, onto the bumper. So we're gonna go ahead and get the drill and match up the bolts to that and go ahead and get it drilled in. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we've got our bit, we've got our nuts. We're gonna make sure that we got the right size. We're gonna go ahead and drill our holes on both sides and then, then we can get these things mocked up in here and actually on. Now, the thing that I'm worried about is, remember last time we did the front grill here on the front of the bumper? The thing I'm worried about is the grill goes all the way over here. So I might be able to push it back and get the nuts on, but we're gonna find out. I really don't wanna pull the front bumper off if we don't have to, but if we do, it's not super hard because last time we installed the bumper stay, so it should be pretty easy to take off, but I still don't wanna do it. So let's go ahead and drill and see if we can actually get these. the other side and then we'll get these bad boys in. All right, let's go ahead and get these in here. All right. Okay. Now I think we can actually reach underneath and get the... All right, that one's through. We're gonna have to take the bumper off. No! Okay, now we got the bumper off. We can go ahead and get these nuts on without much trouble because we can get on the back side here. Unfortunately, we had to take the whole bumper off, but that's why we put the quick disconnects and everything on, so we could. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten these up and then we will get the bumper back on and then we'll do a final shot. So let's go ahead and get these tightened. All right guys, we got the bumper back on, we got the grill back in, 
Man, the front bumper of this car is starting to really come together. I'm really looking forward to getting the new rotors and the brakes. So let's take a look at this finished product. Okay, like I said guys, today's video was gonna be super short. We've got a bunch of stuff coming in for this car though. Brand new rotors. We also have brand new intake that we're gonna be doing. We get that Friday. So in a couple days, we'll get the brand new intake. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna get rid of the short intake that you see here. We actually got an extended intake that goes down into the bumper. So we get a little bit colder air back into the turbo. Um, and that's the thing with this car. We really are trying to keep the car cool. Uh, we've never had a turbocharged car for a track car. So I really wanna make sure that the car is, is cool. The other things that we're looking at getting is the new pipes, new charge pipes. These are just crap. Um, and we need to get some new stuff on here. So that's another thing that we're looking at. Also too, we have radiator hoses, brand new hoses that are gonna be going in. So that's something that we have. Uh, the battery needs a stay because it just moves. So we're working on that too as well. So we've got a lot more content coming for the WRX and uh, I'm really excited. Update on the GTR while we're standing here. Um, GTR, we're about a week and a half, two weeks away from the motor being back. So we are so close to having this car back up and running and more content is coming for this car. I, God, I'm so ready for that car to be driving it and for more content to come out with it. But right now she's still sitting here with no motor, with no, no heart, no heart. But we have the content coming for the WRX. Like I said, we're gonna wrap it. We've got all kinds of stuff coming for it. It needs, the four, it needs a four wheel alignment. So we're gonna have that done. Um, so there's a lot more we need to do. Charge pipes, intake. We need to fix the rear wing and uh, redo this. So there's so much more we can do to this car. Um, we're gonna take it over and have it retuned. That's another thing that we're gonna do. That'll be another video. So we wanna make sure that this car is reliable and when we take it to the track later this year, we absolutely have it sorted out. Another thing that I have that I'm going to experiment with. I have a, one of my friends gave me his live streaming rig. And what I'm thinking about doing is live streaming our track days in the car once we get um, the cage and everything in. So the other thing that we're waiting on is we have a cage, a bolt-in cage that will be going in this. So another video coming down the road is we're actually gonna pull the rear seats out and get that cage in. So the cage is probably like a week away. They have to make it. Um, but this thing, well, that will be another video once we throw the cage in this thing. One of the things that my dad and I have been talking about is are we going to fully gut the car? Right now we're thinking no, just uh, go out and get some track days in it, get some seat time in the car. We've both never driven an all wheel drive track car. Um, we've also never driven a turbocharged car uh, in like comp. Most of our cars that we drove in comp were real wheel drive um, and most of the cars that we drove were not turbocharged, they were naturally aspirated. So running this car is gonna be a little bit different for us. Obviously we're willing to learn and I'm excited. I have 10 years of racing experience. My dad has um, 15 years of racing experience. So I'm excited to get some seat time in this car and learn the car. Um, that's one thing that I definitely think a lot of people, you know, when you start talking about track days and going and auto crossing and time attack and all this stuff is that you may be bad when you start, but seat time is seat time. It doesn't matter what you're doing. If you are actually in the car and you're driving and you're driving it under pressure and stress, that is seat time and that is experience. It's all about the track conditions. It's all about, you know, it could be rainy, it could be sunny, it could be hot that day. There are all kinds of factors and setups change on cars. You add new parts, you break it, you put new parts on. So I don't know why people like to, you know, get in the comments and just be completely negative. This car is gonna change every single time we take it to the track and I'm okay with that. But a seat time is seat time. Driving a car 
and being on track and driving under stress is completely worth it for the experience. So with that being said, that's gonna end today's video, guys. I hope you are enjoying the content. And like I said, we've got tons more content coming for the WRX. And once we get the Skyline, the GTR back up, we'll have tons more content for that. We've got all kinds of stuff. We still have R35 stuff that's just sitting here. We've got, you know, we just have parts waiting. We just have parts waiting. I mean, look, we got brand new stuff for the GTR. We've got all kinds of content coming. So if you guys are liking what you're seeing, please hit the like, please hit the subscribe. And for all you OGs that stayed, I'm gonna show you guys the actual engine cover for the GTR. Boom. What do you guys know about that? The RB26 is getting some gold treatment. So thank you guys for staying. I appreciate everything that you guys are doing and all the likes and subscribes. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.